Mangalas and this is Mahindra Scorpio Presents Toysa, Drive to the Top. I've been traveling across the country to interview some of the nation's top sports personalities, winners of the inaugural Times of India Sports Awards. And today I'm in Hyderabad at the iconic Char Minar where I'm about to meet one of the country's woman chess grandmasters, Harika Dronavalli. for meeting with us today. I'm so excited to be hearing your story. How then did this journey begin from just being, as you say, a normal girl to being an internationally recognized chess grandmaster? So this all, all started with my father introducing me to chess. We, we used to play like many games like caroms, chess, cards and many indoor games. So that's where uh, once we went to a national championship for fun and then I realized that I have the potential in chess. So that's how it started. Like I saw a national cup which I missed that time, like a rolling trophy, an amazing one, still I can remember that uh, moment. So that's where my inspiration started, like that's where I felt like I need to win that title. I'd love to hear also about your role models. Were there any figures in the chess world that inspired you? Yeah, definitely, like uh, Judith Polker, she's from Hungary, she's the first woman player to uh, go into men's top 10, like she broke this men and women barrier and she went into men's top 10 at some point. Of course, our own Vishwanathan Anand, he's the one who introduced chess to India. So definitely like uh, he's one of the person like we, uh, who, whoever like know chess, they know him. So definitely he's one of my role models. Coming back to what you, um, the point you brought up earlier about how uh, Judith Polgar won, you know, even against men. Uh, I'd be interested in hearing your take on whether you think gendered segregation in tournaments is valid in a game like chess. I'm a men grandmaster too, so I, 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 I at certain level, like uh, uh, with men I'm competing and when actually in the same level men, when, I, uh, when we are like, when we have same rating, I have more opportunities than men, so I'm like proud of it. So it's not uh, so bad, but especially in researches, you know, like they say that there is a bit of difference even how brain works, like for example, Women are more emotional when taking decisions on the board, like where men are like have more killing instinct and all. Uh, I don't know how big difference it is, but definitely like uh, there is a small thing. Like I think if we can um, change this barrier of attitude and uh, like the goal, goal we set, I think we will be fine. Like we can do even better in men too. You're one of India's only uh, grandmasters in the men's category as well, right? Yeah, like I'm the second, uh, men, the second omen, one, yeah. woman, woman player to become like grandmaster in men, and that's it. Only two we have. So. Girl power. <laughs> Harika has brought me to KBR Park, which is where she does her morning walk every day. Now Harika, tell me a little bit more about your daily routine. So it goes, uh, first it starts with physical exercise and either it goes like walking, jogging or some exercise at home or yoga, something or other. But uh, definitely physical fitness is one of the most um, important criteria in, in like part of my daily routine. Do you think people underestimate how important it is to be physically fit in a sport like chess, which is uh, commonly thought of as a sort of mental game? Yeah, definitely. I think he, people who don't know about chess, they have this misconception that there is like uh, physical fitness is not so important in chess and like we just have to sit and play over the board. But uh, to play over the board for hours, seven hours or six, like how many hours, hours it takes, we need stamina, we need to build up our stamina. So that that's why definitely like physical fitness is most important. What do you do when you're traveling? I'm, I'm imagining you're overseas a lot for these tournaments. Yeah, when I'm outside, like uh, generally I go for a walk or I jog or I, I even do exercises at, at home. I tried many different things, but uh, here when I'm in Hyderabad, this is the easiest thing like uh, to come here and jog. So that's what I try to do. And what's it like being a chess player, a woman chess player in India where maybe a sport like chess isn't so recognized? Is it a challenge for you? Definitely it's a challenge because uh, we work hard uh, as a, any other uh, like sports person and uh, we need to get the recognition. This is the motivation for us. And when it is not a certain, like enough, it gives little bit of uh, kind of feeling that why I'm playing, like, you know, uh, why I'm working hard for what. So that definitely is very important to people, like people recognize us for what we are doing. But uh, I think it's improving. Maybe, you know, 
everything can't be in the right path. Like sometimes we have to get changes. So I'm hoping maybe we will get some change here. After that nice little stroll in KBR Park where Harika begins her mornings with a brisk walk, she's now about to drive me to her house where I believe she's whipped up some yummy breakfast for us. So Harika, tell me about some of the wins that really stand out as most significant for you. Uh, in my career, I should say my first World Championship title, uh, which was one, under 14. Uh, because under 10, under 12, everywhere I missed, I kept on trying and uh, when I won my first under, uh, under 14 world title, I think that was the best moment for me. After that, I won many titles, but most important were like World Junior Championship. I won an Asian Women title. Also, I won uh, two bronze medals in World Championship plus uh, Asian Games bronze medal and also uh, I got recognized by a government from, given Arjuna Award. So all these were special moments for me so far. This is Harika's kingdom and she's the queen. We're at the center of Harika's universe, chess. So Harika, tell me, which one is your favorite piece? Uh, in all, if I have to choose, I can say knight is my favorite piece. Even my op favorite opening starts with knight, like knight f3 and like reti, like this is my favorite uh, opening start from white. So, and also like I feel like uh, I can connect to knight very, very well. Like I can understand like the manorings and all like quicker than the other pieces. So I feel uh, definitely I would love to have my knight on the board. Love to hear from you more about your strategies during the game. Are there any signature moves you have other than the opening move you showed me that you rely on to win? Uh, it's not about like uh, to win, but we have a lot of openings to study. It's not just as people see, like, you know, just to go and play on the board and just think and play. It's not, not only that, like, apart from that, we have to study a lot. Like, we have to study openings where sometimes like 30 moves, like even 20, 20 to 30 moves we may know like beforehand. And like, we will be hoping opponent play that. So it's like, uh, we, we have to memorize, we have to prepare before like which opening, what, like in every variation there will be like, like uh, hundreds of moves it's not like just one variation like if they play uh, for example if i make a move like they have 10 options mm -hmm. so i have to be ready for everything i imagine that anticipation is also a huge part of playing a good game right you should be able to kind of uh, figure out what your opponent is going to do before making your own move yeah always it's not about only position because okay sometimes it can be that both must be playing good and all but uh, so in that moment, it, it's more important that you guess what your opponent is playing and be prepared for that and trick them somehow. So this is also one of the major like uh, part of the game. Normally people say we play chess, we play in co with computers, we played with them like in th with that computer, but that's not actual chess. Is. The chess is something you are playing with the opponent's brain, with a human brain and like you know to outplay them like their brain so that's what chess is all about i believe that your coach who started with just one student that was you now has a full-fledged chess academy yeah like uh, when he started uh, with me like uh, actually i can say that my family and him were like all over my career and like it's not only our goal it's a goal of all of us so that is how our journey started and now uh, okay like uh, still he's a mentor of me uh, I got different trainers too, but uh, he's a mentor like where he will say like you have to do this, you have to do that. Until almost like recent 3-4 years he was with me and even now I, I have to ask them, him like okay I'm trying to do this, is it okay? So I'm lucky enough I got a trainer like him. Uh, from the World Championship, I had a great tournament, I had a live games. I had a games and you know, uh, will get uh, students to explain this to each other. The results will be very motivated. Tanlaga achievement jaisi, wale gora future lo India ki manchi world championships kani great name dasar na expect kis. She's one of our most promising uh, women players. Um, together with Hampi, she often mounts uh, a very big challenge in the world championship. Definitely, I follow her. I feel that she's uh, gaining in strength recently. Um, I have several games, the ones with Adams. Uh, some of the other matches she's played. I've noticed that uh, 
her opening preparation is getting more all-rounded um, and her general level of play is improving. So she's on the right track and I hope she will uh, win the Women's World Championship. I think she's capable of that. That was a wonderful window into the world of chess grandmaster Harika Dronavalli. That's it from me today, but we'll be back next week on Mahindra Scorpio Presents Toysa Drive to the Top with two more exhilarating stories of sports personalities who've defied the odds to rise to the top.